Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing good today. We're going to look at how to play your scale or could be shredding uh, with our plectrum. So that means we're going to try to play only with your fingers. So the first step is to try to figure out how it works. So check this out. I'm gonna play with three fingers, my thumb, my index and my middle finger. So it's a little bit tough, but if you work hard, step by step, uh, there is no reason you can do it. So just listen every advice that I give to you and just follow the exercise. So the first exercise is gonna be using, as I said, three motion, three fingers as thumb, index and middle finger on my low E string. So here, one, two, and three. So what I'm doing, I'm using my thumb as a downstroke, just right there. Then I switch with my index finger as an upstroke. So I repeat, down, up, thumb, index. All right, that's an alternate between my thumb and my index as down, up downstroke, upstroke, thumb, index. And then to finish the motion, I finishing with my middle finger. Again, upstroke. So we have down, up, up, thumb, index, middle finger. One more time, thumb, index, middle. So you should play groups of three notes and it's going to sound like this. Like, um, like three notes per time, per beat. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, etc. If you play the motion correctly, it should sound sounds like a horse, like chuk -chuk. So, second step is to synchronize between your left hand and your right hand. So you just can choose three notes, three groups of notes from one scale that you like. It could be major scale or minor scale or whatever. I'm gonna uh, choose here for this example uh, a major scale, like A major, fifth, seven, and nine. Five, seven, nine fret on the low E. I use index, middle finger, and my pinky for my left hand. All right. So it should sound like this: one, two, three. 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 So just play this really slow, step by step, try to get something really regular, one, two, three, one, two, three. Use a metronome if you need it. And then you can switch to the second string. When I say the second string, I mean on this, um, this uh, way. So when I'm talking about, it's about the fifth, so the, the fifth string, so the A string. All right, so from the e, the low E to the A string. And it's gonna be exactly the same fingers. We're going to use the same fingers for your left hand, like index, major, and pinky as well. So I repeat, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Index, middle, pinky, index, middle, and pinky. For my right hand, still the same. Thumb, like downstroke, index as upstroke, and middle, upstroke again. 
So down, up, up. Then I switch to the A string. Same motion. Down, up, up. Right, same movement. One, two, three, one, two, three. So if I play all together, it should sound like this. Third and next step, it's when you are able to play the low E and the A string. The point and the, the goal is to not play all together in once. All right, that's a big mistake that you can do. What you have to do is to play different pair of notes and I have to say different pair of strings like low E with the A string then switch to the D and G and then to the B with a high E and not trying to play all the scale together in once again not trying to, to doing this that's the biggest mistake that you can do because if you just watch my left hand we're going to have one three five that's mean index middle and pinky twice I mean for the major scale, right? So then we're going to have a different motion here. We're going to use index, middle and pinky as one, two, four. And that's what I want you to train. To train when you're finishing with, with that motion, you try that one. Same here, the same movement on your, on your right hand. That means down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up. All right. Then, exactly the same exercise and the same thinking with the two last strings. It's gonna be index, uh, ring finger, and pinky. Same for the IE. Here, seventh fret, ninth fret, and ten. next step is to try to combine two strings with another one. What does that mean? That means that when you play your three groups of notes on your low E string, as here, then you play your A string. After the A string, you have to play only A string and D string as well. Try to combine um, Okay, we have two pair of strings as low E and A. Then on the middle, we have D and G. And then on the treble, we have B and high E, right? So you play both together, both and both. And then you try to combine two with two. But before to do two plus two, we're going to try to do two plus one. And to get this correctly, we have to do a pre-training first, as what I'm showing uh, when I'm showing you just right there. A with D. Sa the same um, same idea when you're going to use G with a B. So just coming back to the A string and with a D. Right? When this 
it's okay. You can just uh, combine three strings together as a low E, A, and D. That's it. All right. Then the same idea again with G, D, sorry, D strings first, G and B. And for the last one, we're going to use G, B and high E string. So I repeat. And then the last step is to play all together. I was an A, sorry. Then of course you can play this uh, kind of scale and um, techniques with uh, alternate picking uh, fingers techniques on your acoustic guitar, it could be a nylon or steel string guitar. And uh, of course you have to play also to return back, like when you play, uh, for example, your major scale. You have to play and to know how to play on the opposite way like this one. Right, we have... and then... So that's an island uh, guitar here, over here, uh, as a Ortega brand, an amazing instrument. And that's here exactly the same motion, the same training, the same exercise that you have to do if you want to play without plectrum. So I use again thumb, index and major as a middle finger. One, two, three. It's again a shape like, it sounds like a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three. And again, you can do many stuff, many many kind of different techniques uh, variation with uh, this kind of triplet. That's a really, really useful technique that I love to use. So that's it for today, guys. And last thing, very important, like if some of you guys wants to play with a distortion on your electric guitar, electric guitar sorry, the things with a distortion is that you cannot play with uh, open motion. You have to mute it, uh, all your notes. So it's very difficult uh, to play with distortion. That's why I'm using here um, a thread wrap from the Groove Gear uh, brand. And it's really useful, actually. I saw many guitarists uh, play with that, like uh, Guthrie Govan, for example, and um, Andy, Andy James, and many of them using that. I think it's, it's pretty cool for people who doesn't control um, totally uh, the sound from the distortion. That's my case, actually. So that's what I use it, and I think it's, uh, it's it could be helpful. So it's up to you to use it uh, or trying uh, different uh, techniques. So I hope you liked this uh, video. Just give me some sharing, some comments on the uh, on the video if you like. Just add a like, and you can subscribe as well. And I wish you to get uh, a nice practicing and have a good day and see you for the next video. Cheers.